is Ken Sakumori. I'm an associate professor at the University of Tsukuba, Japan. A migrated central venous catheter fragments can cause severe complications, including arrhythmia, perforation, clotting, infections, and even death. A snare loop catheter is the main device to retrieve it. But in cases with inaccessible ends of the catheter fragment, a picture catheter is used first to hook the catheter fragment, making an accessible end. Afterwards, it's grasped with the snare loop catheter. We modify the classical two-step method and propose the big tail through snare technique to retrieve the catheter fragment within accessible ends, easier and faster. Big tail through snare technique is very easy to perform. First, the snare loop opens near the target catheter fragment, then a pictorial catheter passes through the snare loop in advance. This is the point. The pictorial catheter hooks and pulls the catheter fragment beneath the snare loop. Now you can catch the catheter fragment with the snare loop at the initial position. Compared with the conventional two-step method, the pectoral through snare technique is easier because it's easier to pass the pectoral catheter through the snare loop in advance than to catch the catheter fragment controlling the snare loop afterward. This technique is faster because the time consumed for the snaring maneuver is almost eliminated. The benefit of the peak tear through snare technique is reduced procedure time and radiation exposure. In our case, the inaccessible ends of the catheter fragments were lodged in the right atrial appendage and the left hepatic vein. Nevertheless, it took only 26 minutes from the beginning of the local anesthesia to the withdrawal of the sheath and the fluoroscopy time was limited to 4.6 minutes. I hope that the big tail through snare technique can help the patients and my colleagues in trouble to go home as early as possible. Thank you very much. <laughs>